I want to welcome you to the Massachusetts premiere of the beautiful Ukrainian film, Carol of the Bells. Thank you for coming out to see this powerful film and to welcome our special guests. And a special thank you to our generous donors for your ongoing generous support. So when I was programming this year's Summer Cinematheque, I knew I wanted one of the films to be about Ukraine, to keep shining a necessary light there. When we booked Carol the Bells two months ago, I was so excited that its director, Olesya Morgunitz Sayanko, agreed to, to pre-record a special introduction for us. Never in my wildest imaginings would I have expected that 10 days ago, I would receive an email from Ukraine, from the Ukrainian producer of the film, from Kyiv, asking if our organization could welcome his wife, Eka, and their daughters, Erica and Amira, who are currently living in Virginia, to tonight's screening. Artem Kolubayev and his family have been separated since the start of the war. Thanks to special dispensation from the government of Ukraine, which only happened this Sunday, Artem is in the U.S. with us all and with his family, and he's here for 30 days to promote this film. Before I introduce Artem and his family, I want to extend a very warm welcome and thank you to our official sponsor of tonight's screening and our first guest, Vladimir Feugelman, who was born in Kiev, Ukraine and moved here in 1997. Vladimir is the president and CEO of the Jewish Educational and Cultural Center McCor, which he founded in 2005. I want to also thank Debbie Cardin, our community partner with Action for Post-Soviet Jewry. Welcome Vladimir and Center McCor. Thank you, thank you. Hello, everybody. Dobry večer. Shalom. Ja z Ukrainy. I am from Ukraine. Yeah, but this already told you. What when Jewish Bosnian Jewish film came to us with request to to support this screening? Uh, where was no doubt what Center Macor will do it and participate because uh, since uh, for practically since February 2022, our center trying to do everything is possible in our power to help Ukraine. Uh, for us, uh, uh, to Ukraine goes uh, money, uh, humanitarian help, goods uh, for uh, defense force of Ukraine. Uh, money for volunteers, we're helping animal shelters, we're helping uh, uh, families there, we're helping families who came here as refugees. Uh, we're trying to help uh, hospitals, money also goes to hospitals to buy medicine, to buy uh, special cars, and many, many other things. We're also trying to uh, help uh, people to express their uh, feelings to Ukraine through different events. Uh, we hosted uh, several plays uh, which uh, collected, uh, was de dedicated to Ukraine and money was given to different foundations who support Ukraine as well. I know we don't do it much, but we try to help as much as we can. Uh, we ask you also, <laughs> and I ask you of course uh, as well, uh, please don't stay aside help uh, Ukraine as much as you can. You can buy something, buy. You can just support and uh, you know, you have connections at uh, Congress, uh, Massachusetts Congress or Senate. Talk to your congressman, talk to your senator. Tell them to support UK, to Ukraine. Stay, stay more tightly with Ukraine. Uh, that's important because right now Ukraine saving us. That's what you need to understand. Ukraine is saving us with their lives. That's what's happening there. And I don't know, that, uh, again, you can go to centermacor.org and see whatever, all what we do, but to yesterday, it was a big surprise when a uh, man came to me and told me, Vladimir, this is, uh, people sent you from Ukraine. This is special carved stone uh, I don't know if you can see it, but maybe it's a sh uh, shape of the heart. 
and also they sent me, uh, uh, brought me, I just brought you uh, a major copy, it's a, yeah. a postage stamp. Yeah. Russian Karabel Vsyo. <laughs> Russia, Russian uh, battleship, Done. warship, done. done. <laughs> uh, I was very surprised, I was very touched, uh, and I said, you know what, I can accept it only uh, as for all everybody who works for Central Macor, for our board of directors, for all volunteers, for all who through uh, Central Macor supports Ukraine. Stand with Ukraine. Thank you. Slava Ukraini. <laughs> So much, Vladimir. Um, so before um, we welcome Artem and his family up here to join me, I wanted just to tell you the flow of our evening. After the film screens, we're gonna, you're all invited for pastry and conversation in the theater lobby. And at about 9.30, about 15 minutes after that, we're all gonna gather whoever wants back in this theater with pastry if you want for some informal conversation that's gonna be guided by Michelle Goldhaber, who has been a true partner and angel on this journey with Boston Jewish Film and so many of you here tonight. Michelle is a rabbinical student who spent many years living in Lviv, working on Jewish-Ukrainian relations, past and present. She just returned from a trip to, to Lviv and has been doing all she can to support the Ukrainians in their unprovoked war with Russia. Artem Kulubayev, I did it, is a Ukrainian film and TV producer. You can all come up, gently. Artem has a bio. Artem, I have to really shorten your bio. Listen to this. Artem is the founder and CEO of three production companies, three NGOs. He's a member of both the Ukrainian and the European Film Academies. He's also the head of the Ukrainian Film Fund. Artem, something tells me that your most important role is being a husband to Eka and a father to Erika and Amira. Please join us. Hello everyone, uh, we are from Ukraine, yes, uh, we studied like this. Uh, thank you so much, I'm a little nervous, my English not so good, uh, but thank you so much uh, that you are here, all, all you here. Uh, I hope you will enjoy the film. Uh, it's a hard film, it's uh, tell the story uh, about the Second World War, but now all happening again and all the same. We have the same enemy, and we know who is this. Uh, I'm just a couple of days ago, I was in Ukraine, and it's um, a really hard trip for me through all the Ukraine, because uh, there was a bomb in Kiev, in Khmelnytsky, uh, near the Lviv, uh, Vinnytsia, as you know, so there is no safe place at all in Ukraine. Uh, and uh, I want to thank to Vladimir for his words. Uh, please stand with Ukraine, because uh, Ukraine is now the last front uh, against the enemy. Uh, and if we don't stop Russia Federation, they will go further. They will go uh, far, far away. Uh, that's how they start. So they start from some, someone, and then their appetites are growing up. Uh, thank you for everyone who take care about uh, our present here. Uh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you for my family. They wait for me a long time, and uh, they will s stay here in the United States, and I will go back to Ukraine. Uh, but, but that's how it's going now. Now. Our time is all of us have little role in this film. I hope you will uh, recognize us. Uh, my uh, younger daughter and my wife are playing uh, episode roles when the uh, fascist army uh, put them in the train, deportation train, and they go out from uh, their homeland. I never seen, saw that it will happen in our real life, uh, and we will need to escape the Kyiv rashly because the Russian tank was going uh, on our road when we was driving out of the Kiev on 25th of February. Uh, Erika have a video of this tank on her phone, so it was terrible. This tank was 
destroyed in a couple of hours by Ukrainian militaries, but by the, but uh, Kiev FC now fight uh, hard. Uh, so let's watch the film, and then I hope we will have some time to speak. Uh, who wants to speak? Thank Perfect. you. Thank you.